Welcome back to the channel and I know another Bronco video. I, I swear there's other content coming guys. There's a lot of other stuff I am in the mix right now of making but the Bronco stuff's hot and when it drops I gotta get on it. So I literally just uploaded a video earlier today on the Bronco Sport. Photos leaked on that, totally uncovered, production ready pictures and no sooner did I upload that video, a couple hours later, these new photos showed up of the full-size Bronco. We're going to jump right into that. Look at these pictures. Totally uncovered, production-ready, four-door Bronco. This thing looks epic. I mean, come on, guys. T tell me this thing doesn't look good. I swear I will call you out on it because this thing looks amazing. I know everyone was worried about the styling and the direction Ford was going to go with it, but right now, after looking at this picture, they did a phenomenal job. It looks retro, it looks hardcore off-road, it looks great. Right out of the gate, let's look at the front of this thing. Obviously, we got LED hello headlights, we have this horizontal bar that's going partially into the grill, that looks LED as well. The part that I can't figure out. The word Bronco that goes across the grill. I can't tell if that's paint matched to the rest of the truck or if that's illuminated as well. If I had a guess, I'm going to go with I think it's paint matched. I don't think that's illuminated. Although, if it were illuminated, that would be pretty cool. But I don't think it is. I think that's paint. Now, going just below that to the bumper. The bumper reminds me very much of a Jeep Wrangler. I mean, it, it almost looks like they took that right off a of Rubicon or something because, I mean, unfortunately, that's not necessarily a great thing because it it's plasticky. It looks plastic. And I'm hoping that's just the way it looks in the photo. Maybe it is a steel. I highly doubt it. They don't really do steel bumpers these days. That's kind of an aftermarket thing. But either way, it looks good. I do like it. It looks rugged. It looks tough. It flows right into the fender flares on the side. It looks great. It's a really well-designed piece. The fender flares, again, I'm glad they did not paint match those. I like the way they left them black. And obviously this is that bigger, beefier model that we had saw running around the streets testing that we thought maybe it was gonna be a Raptor model or something. But this is the one that we were looking at. The photos that we got last time on the assembly line of the black Bronco, those tires weren't quite up the par that we were hoping. This is what we were looking for. Obviously, it's a four-door version, rag top, and look where the mirror is mounted, right on the pillar. So we know those doors come off. So this is clearly a well-decked out version of the Bronco. Probably has a lot of the bells and whistles to it. Definitely the higher end trim. This is the model you want to go for. Now there are more pictures. There is a picture of a two door version. Now this is not a production model. This is a mock up of what they were going to use to get the exterior to look like. So this is what the exterior would look like. The wheels would be a little bit different, but there's no interior in this vehicle. Uh, the blacked out windows are hiding that fact. According to Motor One and their article and their insight, this was a, again, a mock-up. So this is what the exterior is going to look like of the two-door in a hardtop configuration. But uh, this isn't the final production version. So the wheels and stuff will be a little bit different. But overall, this gives you an idea what it's going to be. So now we have pictures of both the Bronco and the Bronco Sport which tells me we are literally right around the corner of getting an official reveal from Ford. Production said to start in December. Dealerships will probably start taking deliveries January, February, give or take. So we still have a little bit longer to wait, but at least now we know this is what the Bronco looks like. No more waiting, no more camo, no more speculating. This is it. Definitely tell me what you think. I want to know. Drop a like on the video. Tell me your comments. My wife saw this picture and immediately she's like, we got to trade the Durango in on this thing. We got to get this Bronco. So here's my only concern. And I'm sure everyone's going to kind of jump on this too. Ford, please, for the love of God, do not outprice this vehicle. If this thing comes out fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, I'm going to be upset. I really am. Hopefully starting price. And this is just me hoping and speculating. This is not anything I found 
to be credible. So I'm just saying price wise, maybe if we can start in the mid thirties, get the fully decked out one somewhere in the mid forties, that might be somewhat acceptable to me. I think that's probably where they're going to go. If they go higher than that, they're going to 50, $60,000 mark. That's too high. That is way too high. Um, as much as I would want it, I can't justify paying that kind of money. It's not full size. I mean, for that kind of money, I can go buy a Raptor with a couple thousand miles on it. So, I mean, that's just, that's just the way I would go. But again, personal opinions, let me know what you think. This is huge. This is a big deal, guys. I mean, come on. The Bronco is back and I love it. What do you think? Drop your comments down below. Make sure to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. Definitely more content coming. I'll catch you next time.